Hi guys, today we are here in Nuwara Elia, a city in Sri Lanka and I'm going to stay here for two days and I'm going to show you around what to do here in the city, surrounded by beautiful nature. Because this morning I was still in Dalhousie at Adams Peak, I had to do a three hour drive to Nuwara Elia. I just checked in at the Laughing Leopard Hostel with five beautiful dogs, friendly people, and I just dropped my bags here. So I'm now at the Victoria's Park where I start the first place in Nuwara Elia that's its must visit. Because look how beautiful it is. I paid like 500 rupees for the entrance and it's open till 6 p.m. It's now 4 p.m. I just arrived here at 3 p.m. But tomorrow I have a full day to explore this beautiful city. So the Victoria Park is made by the British people and is very well maintained. So I found a restaurant called Tempura Du with a very nice atmosphere. The food was good but pricey and the portion was rather small. I ate chicken kotu, drank a mojito and paid like 3400 rupees. Good morning guys, day 2 here in Nuwara Elia and today I'm going to visit the Pedro Tees factory and the Lover's Leap hike, it's around the Pedro Tees factory and then in the afternoon I will go to the Ramboda Falls and that's it for today but first I'm going to buy myself a train ticket from here to Ella and the people of the rental company of the Tuk Tuk they will transfer my Tuk Tuk from Nuwara Elia to uh, Ella so that's the reason why I'm now on my way to the train station of Nano Oya to get myself a ticket. So I just bought the train ticket, it's 300 rupees for one person in a second or third class. I will leave tomorrow at 12.45 and uh, the rental company Tuk Tuk, he will transfer my Tuk Tuk from Nano Oya to Ella. Now let's go to the Pedro T Taste Factory.
So the Pedro tea farm was really a nice and interesting experience. From picking the tea leaves to the tour around the manufactory, I paid 1,500 rupees, 500 for the picking, 1,000 for the tour, which is in total less than four euros. I'm now going to start the walk around the Lover's Leap, which started on the main road when you left the farm. So I will start here my hiking trail to the Lover's Leap waterfall. So from where I started to the waterfall and back, it's like five kilometers. So what a beautiful hike it was, the Lover's Leap waterfall. Uh, I didn't know that when you arrived at the waterfall there is a whole way going up the waterfall and then it was really adventurous, <laughs> the way down also and I met a guy there and I thought he was very friendly, uh, he was actually, he helped me, he take uh, he took pictures with me but I didn't know at the end I wanted to give him something just because he was so friendly like 2,000 rupees um, but I didn't know he asked at the end for money so he asked 5,000 rupees I said no it's too much I didn't know that you were a guide so I gave him 3,000 rupees and I think it's still a lot but okay it was a beautiful hike and now I'm going to the Rambola Falls You 
So behind me is the Ramboda Falls. I paid 200 rupees to go to the top. It's a 700 meter walk. What a beautiful place to swim here at the Ramboda Falls. So the Ramboda Falls, really good. I have a real nice swim and now I'm on my way to the Laughing Leopard Hostel for my last night there and then tomorrow I go to Ella. Morning guys, day 8 here in this beautiful country. Today I'm going to leave Nuara Elia for Ella by taking the most beautiful scenic train ride in the world. I just left the Laughing Leopard hostel and paid around 7,200 rupees or 18 euros for two nights. I met a lot of very friendly people there and I'm going to miss the dogs so much. Would you like to see me continue this journey with my tuk-tuk through Sri Lanka? Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Laukation and in my next vlog you will see me taking this wonderful train and exploring the area around Ella. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment down below and I will see you again in the next video.
Ciao. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there.